everybody, welcome back to my channel. Sorry if I have been MIA, um, let's just say things have been coming up, I've been busy. Uh, however, I do want to catch up on some trailer reactions. First up is Luke Cage, uh, the Marvel show that's on Netflix. Uh, and to be honest, I hate to say this, I feel so ashamed, but I have not yet seen season one of Luke Cage. I know, you guys are gonna kill me, I'm sorry. I just never got the chance. However, I do want to see the trailer for season two, so I figured, hey, why not? Even though I haven't seen season one yet, I still want to get a glimpse of season two, so I know what to expect. But yeah, anyway, but I will say this, I did see The Defenders on Netflix. Um, it was an okay show, I wasn't that thrilled about it, I was a little disappointed, but you know, it was cool to see um, the characters come together, it just I felt the villain was a little weak. But other than that, I do want to check out this trailer. So, hey, let's get to it. Yo, I'm Luke Cage. You want to test me? You know where to find me. Mm -hmm. Ooh, got it all, man. <laughs> Everybody talking about Luke Cage like he's Jesus. I ain't no joke. I used to let the mic smoke. The bulletproof black man. Oh wow, that looks so good. Guys, I seriously need to catch up on Luke Cage. I need to start watching it now. But I'll get to it soon. And sorry about that, I'm pretty sure you guys heard a phone ring, so there's probably like a little um, editing in the middle of this video. I just did not want you guys to hear the whole entire phone ringing, so sorry about that. But anyway, regarding about the trailer, uh, looks action-packed, looks really good. The villain does look pretty creepy and scary, so this does seem like a real threat to Luke Cage. He is like, you know, his superpowers, he's like is incredibly strong, he's bulletproof, he's supposedly like invincible, but with this new villain now, here for season two, I mean, he now appears vulnerable to the people of Harlem. So, you know, people are probably scared. What can they do? If Luke Cage can even defeat this guy, what can the people of Harlem do? So it will be very interesting to see that. Again, even though I never have yet to see season one of, the, of Luke Cage, I did get a bit of, you know, his story by watching The Defenders and also by knowing tidbits from the comics. So I do have an overall idea about the character and whatnot. But, you know, in terms of the Netflix show, I gotta catch up with that. Um, however, I will say this, I find it interesting that the Netflix Marvel creators behind, you know, behind the scenes, the team, decided to make Luke Cage go with Rosario Dawson's 
character, uh, Claire, I believe is her name. She's a nurse. Uh, I would have liked to see Luke Cage with Jessica Jones, because I know that's a thing in the comics. I am aware that he and Jessica Jones hooked up in Jessica Jones Season 1, but I wanted to see more of that relationship. Hopefully, somewhere down the line in Season 4 or 5, they'll get back together. But anyway, other than that, uh, the, it looks really good, looks promising. Hopefully, it's better than, you know, hopefully, I think it has more potential than The Defenders. And more so than Iron Fist, because I heard that wasn't so good. And I have yet to see that, but I'm debating if I should watch the um, Iron Fist, because I heard it wasn't so good. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's all I got to say. Um, also, sometime this week, I'm going to be doing a review for a Netflix show called Stretch Armstrong and the Flex Fighters. So that should be coming up sometime this week. Uh, I will post a, my review on that sometime this week. And so far, so good. Um... I really am enjoying the show of Stretch Armstrong, but like I said, I'll talk more about that in my review sometime this week. But anyway, thank you guys for watching my um, reaction to this trailer, and take care guys. I hope you have a nice, beautiful day. Okay, bye-bye.